Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. Please excuse my hair. It is well overdue a wash, but today just wasn't the day. I really couldn't be bothered. I filmed a skincare video though this morning and to film the video, my hair was like up in a headband. So I was just like, you know what? No one's gonna see, it's fine. No one's gonna know. Yes, yeah, so and now I've got really horrible manky hair. I just don't suit having my hair up, I don't think. It just doesn't suit me, but. I'm gonna have to shove it up because I need to get some stuff done today. But I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup. I'm not doing anything drastic. This is kind of like my no makeup makeup where I basically don't, I don't wanna wear foundation. I don't need the full works. I just wanna feel like I look a bit more presentable, like a bit more like a better version of myself without looking like I've got a face full of makeup. So I'm gonna just show you what I do. I'm just going to quickly put on as a base the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. I really like this. I love the fact that the um, spray is like so fine. So the mist is just amazing. Just gives you like a really nice, just hydrates you and wakes your skin up before you put anything on it. Also, I wasn't going to mention anything in this vlog, but do you know what um here i am so by the way i'm just gonna put on some barley body bb cream um i really like this stuff this is what i use when i'm on holiday but i'm gonna put on a bit now because it kind of adds a bit of like a tan to your face it's not heavy it's very breathable it just feels like you're putting a nice moisturizer on to be honest but yeah i had um a comment on my vlog from last week and i let it get to me and i don't know why because basically someone had left a comment saying they thought my vlog was boring they said they usually enjoy my content but last week's vlog was boring and they said i didn't do anything um and apparently i just spent it all on sitting on the couch which wasn't true i was actually just on the couch for the first minute of the video and yeah i don't usually let a hot like negative comments get to me like without jumping on the woe is me train i do receive like a fair few shitty or negative comments either on instagram or youtube or whatever and nine times out of ten i can sort of brush them off but every now and then don't know what it is i feel like sometimes they catch me on an off day so i'm not gonna lie when i saw the comment it was like that week before my period Let's show, are we going to blame that? I'm probably just going to blame that. So Auntie Flo is now in town. Woohoo! Fun for everyone. So yeah, I think I was probably just feeling a little bit more sensitive than usual. You know, when you can't quite brush off things as well as you usually do. It's just, it's hard at the minute because we're in lockdown. There's just, there's only so much that I can do. And like, I'm sick of my own vlogs, if that makes sense. Like, there's only so many times I can do my makeup or clean the house or go for a walk so it's just it is really hard to get a vlog and put it together every single week and the reality is that some weeks are going to be more fun than others like i'm going to have some weeks where i'm really motivated and productive and I decide to clean my house from top to bottom and film it and show you and show you guys lots of what's going on and then other weeks they are just going to be boring and I probably don't do much other than do my work and sit and watch Netflix. So, and that's life. Not every week is going to be full of fun stuff going on. And that, and regardless of whether we're, we're in lockdown or not, that's just life in general. So yeah, I just thought the comment was just unnecessary at the time. I was like, come on, cut me some slack we're in lockdown it's hard like i know trust me there's a million things i'd rather be doing that we'd all rather be doing that i could film for you but those times are coming and i absolutely cannot wait me and andy have already planned a barbecue for easter because because at that time you're allowed to mix with another household outside so technically you can have someone come and come in the garden so we're already planning like an Easter barbecue for Dion to come round so hopefully that'll be something different and a bit more fun to show you but yeah don't know why I'm rambling on about this but I just wanted to I don't know just address it the struggle is real like I 
I just can't wait for things to go back to normal and for the fun vlogs and me and Dion were talking about this the other day that we can't wait like when we went to Manchester we're gonna do things like that again and go out for food film videos together and all that fun stuff but for now yeah you are just stuck with me either in my house or going to the yard and seeing Ranger so yeah, now I've rambled on for, what, five, six minutes? But yeah, I've just put that on. As you can see, it's not, it's nothing like a foundation. It literally is like a tinted moisturiser. And it just makes me feel that little bit more put together. My hair is just so disgusting right now. I don't even know what to, what to do with it, but whatever. I'm going to put a bit of Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter on. Um, oh, I actually tinted my eyebrows last night, so... If you think they're looking a little bit um, darker, that's why. And I've always tinted my brows at home. I just use the really cheap Eyelure. Um, I think it's Eyelure? Yeah, Eyelure. So I just put this on just to brush my brows up and keep them in place for the day. I think I brush my eyebrows more than I brush my actual hair these days. Right, now that's done, I already feel a bit more fresh. I think I'm going to put on a little bit of mascara. Just feel like I want a little bit of something. Oh, you might have caught a little glimpse of my hand, which I can use so much better now. It's doing really well. For those that don't know, I broke three fingers. Um, and it was my ring finger that needed the operation. So I had a screw put in that finger. And that's the one that is just going to take quite a little bit longer to recover and that's the one that i am struggling to move right now and the one that i'm having physio on a weekly basis for so it's quite intense they're really adamant to try and get it moving the scar is looking i've actually painted my nails as well so you can't see the bruising on my finger anymore so it already feels so much better but i'll show you what it's looking like obviously it's a bit bent and deformed i know it looks a bit grim but that's what it's looking like at the moment i mean look it's all a bit bent out of shape looks a bit funky and a bit swollen so yeah the scar and finger is doing well i'm just it's going to be quite a while until that moves put it that way right i'm just going to um conceal just a couple of little little marks on my face i'm just using the laura mercier flawless fusion this is really really lightweight oh i've gone dark there we go and um, this is really lightweight it's really good so i've just got a couple of little marks obviously it was i was due on so i did have a little spot come up last week and that is actually the first spot that i have had in so long like considering i had acne this time last year it's just mental fab i don't bother putting anything under my eyes if i'm not wearing makeup because what's the point it'll just crease so that's that done i am gonna i might put on a little bit of I'm going to put a little bit of liquid blush on. Why not? Let's add a little bit of colour to my face. I'm going to use the Iconic London liquid blush. This is in the colour Fresh Faced. I'll just use the tiniest bit of this, just literally on the apples of my cheeks. A little goes a long way with this blush. And I just feel like it just adds a little something. I don't feel quite as naked. For real. Right, I'm going to put some lip liner on. And I'm going to also use the Iconic, this isn't like an Iconic London video by the way, I'm using a lot of their stuff but I do really like it for like no makeup days. So it's not a no makeup day, it's a no makeup makeup day. So this is the Iconic London lip oil, this is just their clear one. But I'm going to put a little bit of um, lip liner on. This is Morphe uh, Coffee and Kissy. And it's just in this really nice kind of natural pinky colour but I like this and I kind of just blot it with my finger because I don't want like a harsh line around my lips I just want a little bit of definition just so my lips look a little bit more full and then I'm just gonna pop on a lip oil this is so nice by the way it genuinely like hydrates your lips so nicely it almost smells like you know that um that sun like tanning oil that you take on holiday is it Hawaiian Tropic or you know that brand it's in like that brown bottle that's what this smells like there we go um and that's it that's all i'm gonna do i just feel like as you can see it's not a lot of makeup 
it is just literally concealing just a couple of little blemishes and yeah just feeling a bit more like a put together version of myself what time is it three o'clock i've missed my lunch today i've not had anything so i'm absolutely starving um i think i'm gonna go and make myself just some avo on toast because i've got to leave to go to the yard soon and then we have dinner when we come back so i think i'm gonna go make myself some toast and then it'll be time to go to the yard i'm not sure why desi has moved her bed from this corner to this one what have you done and what is in your bed what have you done oh my gosh you're a little bit wet from your walk aren't you darling did you get a little bit muddy did you get a little bit muddy on your walk was it fun did you have fun i don't know why you've moved your bed there hmm do you prefer it there would you like it to stay there yeah you can't stay there lord blocking the sink <laughs> have not got the heart to move her so she can just stay there for now right i'm gonna make my avo on toast sorry if you can hear the washing machine in the background um this tracksuit by the way so nice it's from um worst behavior on instagram pretty sure i've mentioned them before but um i'll link it in the description box anyway because it is one of their new sets but i really really like it let's get some food because i am starving going to put a little bit of balsamic glaze on there yum yum got a bit of orange juice usually i would have two pieces of toast but as i said it's a bit later in the day and i don't want to spoil my dinner later so just having the one today but yeah this is lunch for now so i am going to eat this and then it will be time to go and see Mr. Ray. So we're at the yard and we're trying to decide what we wanted for dinner. And it was just horrible weather. And you know, it's horrible weather and you just can't be bothered to cook. So picked up cheeky Nando's. So just on our way home now. Um, should be home in like five minutes. So I'm going to get home and eat this. So we've got the hummus. Oh my God, if you've not tried the Nando's hummus and pita, oh, you need to try it. So we've got the hummus and pita. I have got chicken in pita with peri peri chips and coleslaw. Got a lemon and herb dip here as well. Andy, what have you had? Half chicken? Half chicken. Half chicken. Chips. Chips. And his wing, what is that, a ring, wing roulette? Mmm, <laughs> right, we're gonna eat all this food. I think the last time we spoke, I was, I think we were eating our Nando's, but anyway, it's the next day now, and um, I've had a little parcel arrive from H&M, um, well, H&M Home, so, basically, I wanted to give the bathroom a few updates, because I wanted to show the bathroom a bit of love, because I feel like that room gets forgotten because there's only me and Andy living here and we mainly use like our ensuite and if we're downstairs we'll use a downstairs loo so that main bathroom other than me having my baths doesn't get shown much love and Andy's not going to be the one to do it so yeah I decided to get a few bits for it starting with towels might sound boring but we all need towels let's be honest and I have been after these towels for so long I saw them on H&M Home ages ago and they didn't have like the right colour in stock and I've been waiting for them to come back in and I keep missing them and they finally finally had them when I went online so I was so happy to finally get them so these are for our bathroom now these white towels but can you see the pattern on them they're just 
focus it on there. There you go. Can you see that kind of really nice pattern on them? And they're so soft and lovely. So, yeah. I've got some nice white towels. Plus as well, with lockdown restrictions starting to ease, before we know it, we'll be allowed to stay around each other's houses and we'll be allowed to have guests here again, staying over. So I think the, those towels are gonna stay for sort of guests. Um, yeah. I've also got the, which ones are these? Are these the hand towels? Yeah, I think these are the hand towels. So some smaller versions. And I also got them in black for the ensuite. So me and Andy have both got one each. Honestly, they're so soft, they're so lovely. So they will be in there. What else did I order? I feel like I ordered a couple more bits. Let me just, let's crack these open. Right, I've just had to tilt the camera down a little bit because I was like sitting on my foot and it was causing me a lot of stress. So I had to just move where I was sitting. Oh, I remember, I got a little mirror the window sill in there because the little mirror that we've got in there at the minute is just battered it's like broken had it for years and it needs an update so i just got this little black cute mirror there you are <laughs> but i just thought that'd be really nice with just the whole vibe we've got going on in that bathroom so got that and also got but i will show you the bathroom as it stands like right now because it just needs a bit of a clean and a bit of a tidy up in there but i'll show it you and then i'll show you it when i put all my new bits in there oh yeah remember this i got this kind of i don't know what the material is called on this is it rattan have i just made that up basically it's this like basket thing that you can put a candle in and yeah i just really like it again for the windowsill just to zhuzh it up i just thought these They'll be quite cute in there so we're gonna go and add them in there so i'm gonna take you in with me and just show you what's going on in there right now okay so at the moment sorry about the echo i hate 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 the blue random hand towel that we've got in here so that is going to be going and being replaced with a new one got the little bath tray there these bits need a bit of a revamp because i know this sounds really really silly but I don't like having all like, the brightly coloured things out. I just want to keep it all neutral and have like a nice calming vibe in here. And then these just need to go. They're a couple of just old random bath mats. So yeah, I want my nice new white towels stacked up on there. Um, so yeah, excuse the toilet. So that this room can just feel a little bit more put together and a little bit more loved. So I'm going to add all my little bits in here and then show you how it looks after. And this is the bathroom after. So as you can see, I've got rid of all those little bits there. I've popped my nice new towels up there. And it just looks like a much, much more relaxing bathroom. So I'm definitely going to be coming in here and having a bath tonight. Got my new cloth on there. This brush, by the way, is amazing for exfoliating. I always use it when I want to really like scrub and get any of my fake tan off. I've got my new little thing there. I just want to buy a little candle for in there. I think it looks really cute. Got my other little bits. I think I showed you these in another vlog. I'm still um, waiting to light that candle, so I might actually do that tonight. I've already had some of the bath soak though, and it is unreal. Um, and oh yeah, I popped my little mirror just up on there but yeah i think it looks so much better like this okay i have literally just got back from the yard and i smell like a stable so i'm gonna have a bath and yeah not smell anymore so i'm just going to show you basically my absolute must-haves for my bath i'm gonna have a glass of wine i'm gonna use all my fancy things and yeah, just have a really good time. So I'm gonna show you what I use. Hi Desi, are you gonna help me? Come on then, are you gonna help me have a bath? Are you gonna help me? Yeah. Right, first of all, let's move the washing basket out of the way. Bedroom's all nice and tidy, isn't it Desi? Yes. Bedroom's nice and tidy for a girly night. <gasps> are we gonna have a girly night? Yes, we're gonna have a girly night. Okay, right, let's put the bath mat down. This is honestly, I've been talking about having this bath 
all week because I've had such a busy, stressy week. Des, why do you think everything is for your benefit? That is not for you, darling. That bath mat is not for you. Desi thinks the bath's for her. Are you giving the bath? She's like, no, thank you. Right. Okay. Uh, excuse me. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> it's not for you. Right, should we go and light the candles? <gasps> Shall we light the candles? Come on then. Right, I'm going down to get the lighter to... Oh, I swear to God, this dog, every single step I take, she's literally underneath my feet. The amount of times I've nearly gone flying down the stairs because of her, it's actually dangerous, me trying to vlog and walk anywhere with this dog. Do you want to go out? No? Okay. Got my little lighter. Get the candles ready. I'm also going to just take my makeup off in the bath. Because I can't be bothered to do it now, so I'm just going to sit in bliss and do it. Right, candles. Let's light the sky. Light the sky. And I'm even going to light my fancy new one. How pretty is that? I'm loving how this shelf's looking as well. Love that. And then another essential, I'm really sorry about me going light and dark. Another essential for the bath is obviously clean pyjamas for afterwards. I'm not going to put pyjamas on because it's a bit early. I've not even had my dinner yet. But I'm going to find some. Look how dark it is. Woo! Hello. I'm going to find some clean loungewear. I think I'm going to go for my chocolate brown set for tonight. Honestly, guys, I can't even tell you how much I just bloody love a bath and just feeling fresh and clean and nice. Come on then, Desi, let's go and put this in there. You notice how Desi has to come in every single room with me. Another absolute essential, cashmere socks. Yes, I'm going to be that bougie tonight. And I'm just going to leave my clean loungewear set on the bed sorry guys i've just come in the bedroom because i feel like you can't hear me in there because of the water running but this is the neon real luxury bath foam oh my god honestly i'm not even joking if you love baths and you haven't tried this you need to get it it smells incredible i can't explain it i've never ever found one that smells as good as this it's unreal you just pour it in the bath as the bath water's running and obviously it makes all the bath nice and bubbly but it smells insane and i'm not joking the smell of this it just stays in the bathroom for a good week after your bath it's incredible so i'm gonna go and put some of this in my bath Oh my god, I'm so excited. Sorry, but how relaxing is it in here? Bath is ready. I've got my candles on. I've got friends on the laptop. This is where I'm going to be for the next however long. I have also got a glass of wine. So, yeah. This is literally living my absolute best life. I'm absolutely exha exhausted. What is this bit of hair? Just, <laughs> I look like a chicken. Oh my God. I'm actually exhausted. It's only, it's 20 past seven and I have had to come and sit in bed <laughs> because I'm just so tired. So I've come to bed and to be fair, I'm not in bed to sleep. I've come to bed. I'm editing my video that I filmed this morning. Um, I'm going to try and get that edited tonight because that that then will just take the pressure off tomorrow. I'm writing my to-do list in my... Wow. Why is that so illuminous on this camera? Um, I'm writing my to-do list for tomorrow. So every night when I go to bed or just before I get in bed, I always write a to-do list on my phone for the next day because I just find that I'm so much more productive if I do that. I hate days where I wake up and I'm just sort of like, what am I doing today? I really hate those kind of days. Um, sorry if the camera goes a bit weird on this, by the way. It's just quite, obviously quite dark in here. So yeah, I always type out a to-do list on my phone. Usually, I, I've i got a really nice diary that I really, really love. It's honestly so nice. 
and usually I'll be writing like my to-do lists in there and like planning out my week but I realised the other day when I sat down with my diary ready to write in there that I can't actually write because I'm left-handed and obviously my ring finger can't properly move um and I know it, sound, it sounds really weird but I hadn't even considered not being able to write like because obviously my left hand is like my dominant hand there's so much stuff that I can do now so you know if I go to like do a button up or a zip or I go to pick something up or just anything like that I obviously use my left hand and I'm able to do that but I just hadn't even considered can I even hold a pen can I write and yeah, I realised the other day that I can't actually write anything because I can't hold a pen the way I'm used to holding a pen. <laughs> a bit gutted now that I can't use my lovely diary that I was really enjoying. I only got to use it for a month in Jan and then broke my hand. So that's another thing to aim for, being able to bend my finger so much that I'm able to hold a pen. This finger, honestly, the stress that it's caused me. So I'm going to finish my to-do list on here. Um, and then I'll check in with you in the morning. It's been a few days since I last spoke to you. Um, I don't know why, I just have been so busy. I literally just have completely forgotten to vlog. So yeah, I've been really, really bad. Um, but I'm just on my way to my physio appointment now. I'm not driving, by the way, Andy's driving. Um, I feel like they're gonna have a whinge at me because I feel like my finger hasn't moved at all since last week. Um, it's at that point now where I feel like you get the most movement out of it in the first few weeks and it's starting to just feel really stiff and really tight now. So yeah, I don't know how it's gonna go, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly pop on and close this vlog off. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in next week's vlog.